I've just picked up my uh, birthday card. It's the Autumn Day Out, which is a 150 kilometre ride around Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire, and Lincolnshire. You see lots of bikes here, lots of people showed up today. And uh, I've met, if you're not familiar with Audax, what today is is an ECE. It's the, uh, it's the event itself, and I've commuted to, well, I'm going to be commuting. I've already commuted here and I'm going back, so it's an extended ride up to 200 kilometres. So uh, I think you can start any time between now and half eight, I don't know. So I'm here with, uh, I've just got his name, James, and we're about to set off on the Autumn's Day Out, 155 k's. Looking forward to today. Um, James was just saying he thinks he's overdressed a little bit, but yeah, I'm just hoping it stays dry because I didn't bring any water for his water. <laughs> I thought just wig it today. One, two, three, oh, well, actually four. Information controls. The first one's at 29k. The other is called Coats. And I've got a couple of cafe stops as well. The first one is actually at 38k, so I'm probably going to stop there. It's, hopefully, it's a shop. I'll just grab something quick to eat. Uh, but we will be stopping at Wymanham Windmill. Uh, that's 77k, and I've got used to saying that now, Wymanham. So, I finally left the urban sprawl. Heading into uh, Leicestershire now. Could we'll be getting pretty close to Melton Mowbray at some point. Might even go through the middle of it, I don't know. But yeah, a few stops along the way. The first one is an information control, 29k in. I'm sure I've been to Coates before. So I'll be stopping, looking out for a post box. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video today I don't want to give too much away because uh, I'll be producing a video tomorrow whilst it's raining to tell you a little bit more about my diary and my dates. So I'm going to save lots of it for Wednesday, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. But suffice to say, I've been very busy booking out next year from now, October, through to May next year with lots of old axes and all things that I plan to do. So I don't really want to give too much away. I'm going to be having a very busy March, April and May next year. So if you can't wait till midweek, just head over to longdistancecyclist.co.uk and hit the events page and it's all up there. So I've literally just realised in my back pocket there was not a mobile phone. No mobile phone today. <sighs> Dear me. I got a pirate on my shoulder. That's the best bit when everybody's in pain. Yeah. Not too far from the second information control today, and I've just seen a sign for uh, well, it's it's not the factory, it's a town place name, Quorn. Corn, just like that uh, great uh, meat substitute. Corn, Q U O R N. So, like I say, I'm on my way to the second stop, and I just realised I called it Mont Pele, which is actually a climb. But when I went over to do Paris, Paris, Paris back in August, for which I will now stick a link in the corner of the screen if you want to go watch my journey across to Paris. Now, what I meant to say was Montserrat. That's the uh, next stop, Montserrat. Well, good morning. I got quite a plain name. It's Richard, as in Dick. Yeah. <laughs> what number is that? Please. Uh, it's Richard. number fifty-five. Okay. Yeah. Right. Lovely. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Right. No bacon sandwiches in the car now, I think. Two cafe stops today. I'm going to take full advantage of both of those. Hey, hello. Look at Look comfy. Just left uh, Mount Sorrel. 
and uh, now heading towards Wyman and Windmill. Got uh, information control just in between. The guy in front in the yellow is Dimitri. He's uh, very kindly offered to charge up my Wahoo once we get there to give it a little bit of extra juice. Just going for a little village called John O'Gaunt. Which obviously sounds a little bit like John O'Groats. What's the history behind John O'Gaunt? If you know, places are more than just the name. They've got a bit of history behind them. If you can tell me anything about it, let me know in the comments below or just make something up. One thing is definitely the case with John O'Gaunt. At least for going this way, it's the start of the big hills. So a few videos ago now, I was on a sportif and we went up the wasp's nest and asked you uh, if you could find out a bit of history about that place or just make something up and no one commented at all so I guess not many people know about the wasp's nest I'm just heading towards uh, Summersby now or Summerby drop that S going along Summerby Road I mean to a high gear as I'm filming Oops, wasted energy. So there we go. Currently 189, 190 meters above sea level. Still going up as well into the distance there. Some beautiful views now as I head towards Wyomingham, which is about 12, 13k away from here. Not far. Ready for lunch. I'm gonna get out something really nice to eat. We've got a good menu there. As you can see over my right hand shoulder, the sun has decided to make an appearance as well finally. So it's starting to warm up a little bit now. Just going up the off to familiar site. Up to Wyman Windmill. It's lunchtime. Time to stop, get some to eat, sun is out. What gotta get to the top first? Alright. Oh scaffolding. What's going on? Alright. Around two weeks in a row at Wyman and Windmill. Bacon smells lovely once again. But uh, I'm going to go for the main menu this this week. Are you enjoying the ride? Yeah. 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 What's the best bit you've enjoyed so far? Cafe. Cafe. It's <laughs> fifth bacon butty. That's what he's really enjoying. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a bacon butty, can you? <laughs> it's very English, isn't it? No? A tea party going on. Tea party, yes. <laughs> I need to sign a consent or a release. Of that <laughs> at the end, you signed away at the beginning. <laughs> now we're finding the ride over here. Enjoying it? Yes. Yeah. Good. So far, so good. Yeah. The weather's kept up on it. Beautiful, yep. isn't it? You can wish for better. I know. It's, yeah. it's feeling quite warm now, actually. All we need is more downhill, isn't it? So I find myself near Beaver Castle again. Just gone flying through Nipton. On the other side now, up that hill. Beaver Castle is on the right. The grounds of Beaver Castle, but we're going left on this route. Big group of uh, everyone <laughs> turning up at East Leak, rushing to get their stamp. So not far to go now. Maybe, well, for me, there is, I don't know, let's have a look. Let's have a look. For me, there is 50k to go, so nearly done. Okay, finished the ride. Uh, well, this part of the ride anyway. So I'm just gonna get my uh, card stamped, our final stamp of the day here at Trowell. And 
that's how I'm pronouncing it anyway. And up Thank you very I'm much. Say you've got to the finish. Well, um, I'm, I'm ECE, ECE in it today, so I've got to get back to Blidworth. So, uh, oh, yes. Give her 25k to go. So. Okay. Well, you've got a nice day for it. Yes, and the, the weather stayed off, hasn't it? Drink you thank, yeah, thank you very much. I shall. Thank you. There you go. There's my sticker. Validation for the uh, autumn day out. Well, that's nearly it for a, another of my blogs. As I head to where I parked the car this morning in Blidworth, Blidworth. I'm actually just going past the Sherwood Forest. I can say I've been to uh, Sherwood Forest at least once this year. I think the last time I went to Sherwood Forest was last year now. <laughs> It was actually my very first YouTube video. So I'll tell you what, see how bad it was back then compared to time now. Not that much better now, but uh, I'll draw you the link to my first YouTube video in the corner. If you really want to watch it, it's there for you to see. So just one thing left for me to say, and as always, that is goodbye. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell below the video as well, or you might miss some uh, future content from me. If you've got any questions, comments, please stick them in the uh, area below the video. And of course, don't forget John O. Gaunt. Give me a little bit of history, I'll just make something up. Make me laugh. Until next time, take care, bye bye.